darlings, welcome back to Dining Through the Decades. My name is Sage Lilliman and in this week's episode we are going to be making a layered coffee cake. This recipe is from the 1948 Australian Women's Weekly and I thought I might add that this dress that I'm wearing is also from 1948 so I thought it would be appropriate to wear for this video. Anyway, I'm so excited to try this coffee cake so let's get started. I've got four eggs here and I'm just going to separate the whites from the yolks. Okay, so we're just gonna add our whites into our mixing bowl, along with some caster sugar. And the measurements of all of the ingredients are in the description box below. And now we're just gonna stiffly beat together the egg whites and the sugar. <laughs> to the egg whites that we've just mixed with the sugar, we're going to add in the egg yolks and then mix that for about two or three minutes. That looks really good. It actually reminds me of my sponge cake now. Now I'm just gonna add in my flour here, my cream of tartar, baking soda, salt, and corn flour. And I'm just gonna sift this into my egg mixture. So I'm just going to gently fold this together with the flour and then we can add our melted margarine or butter in. It looks really glossy and lovely. Alright, and now we've got our butter that we're just going to add in and gently mix that through. So I've got three cake tins here, so this is gonna be a triple layered cake. And I'm going to divide two thirds of this mixture into two of these tins, and we're gonna save a little bit. We're gonna add some fancy stuff for the third layer. I'm just gonna grease all of these. I can foresee this getting a bit messy. And then the next one. I'm just going to set these aside and we're going to work on our special mixture. Alright, I have some coffee essence here that I'm going to add into our one third of our cake mixture. And I'm gonna be using a tablespoon of this. This is actually a coffee and chicory essence. And I think they just use the chicory to give the coffee a bit of a kick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's potent stuff. Okay, and then we're gonna add some sherry in. And a tablespoon of this. Oops. I'm tripping it everywhere. And then I have three tablespoons of glazed cherries here. Now, cherries aren't in season at the moment, so we can't get any fresh cherries. So we're making do with glazed cherries. And I'm just going to go ahead and chop these cherries. Alright, it's a bit sticky. And I'm going to add this into my mix. And then I'm just going to mix together the sherry cherries and coffee. 
now that that's all mixed, I'm just going to add it into our third cake tin and then put it all in the oven. It's deflated a lot because of the extra mixing. Okay, either I didn't equally <laughs> measure out all of my sections, but it's not quite enough to fill this tin. Um, let's just hope it rises a little bit. We're going to put these sponge cakes in the oven now at 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius. And we're going to put them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Cakes are done, so let's take them out. Ooh, look how good the chocolate one looks. Chocolate! <gasps> it looks like chocolate. <laughs> look how good the coffee one looks. It looks delicious. I'm just gonna leave these cakes to the side and let them cool. And while they're cooling, we're gonna work on the coffee cream. Okay. I've got a tablespoon of margarine here and I'm just going to cream this together and then slowly add three tablespoons of sugar a little bit at a time. Oh, no. How's that going to work? It's all on the sides. We've creamed together the butter and the sugar, and now we're gonna add in a tablespoon of milk a few drops at a time. Okay, now I'm going to add a tablespoon of boiling water and a teaspoon of our coffee essence. And also a teaspoon of cocoa. Okay, now we're just going to beat that all together. I think that cream is done now and hopefully the cake should be cool enough to ice it now. Oh, no, <laughs> Dave, you gotta try it, that's so good. It's so good, I just had three licks of this. <laughs> Why does it taste so good? It's like magic. This is like enough for one layer, not even one layer. Okay, I've just put a knife around the side of the cake. I'm gonna pop this out. Ooh. Oh, it's so dirty. <laughs> I did it. Trusty old bread knife. Yes! Oh, yes. Because I don't want to put these cakes on top of one another without anything in between, I'm going to go ahead and make some cream for the middle. So pretty much use the recipe that I just did, but without the coffee and cocoa and just like a white cream. And then I'll top it with the coffee cream. Oh no! Oh no, 
I had a second attempt at making the cream and it took me longer than I'd like to admit, but I finally got it together. I had to turn off the camera because I had to give it my undevoted attention because baking doesn't come to me naturally. So I really had to make sure that it turned out and I didn't have a complete lot of curdled cream like I did before. So I've got it, it looks really good and I'm just gonna put it between the layers and then stack all our sponges together. So it's turned out like a thick butter buttercream. Um, but I think that should be nice, much nicer than my disgusting mess that I made before. All right, okay. And I think I'm gonna put the coffee cake for the middle. I think that will be nice, especially when you cut it open and have that nice coffee brown layer in the middle. Oh yes, oh it looks so cool, I made a cake. <laughs> All right, we have our final layer on and now we can top it with our delicious, delicious smelling coffee cream. This is it, this is the taste test. It looks really good. It looks denser than a sponge cake should be. A sponge cake should be really light and this is a bit more dense, but I know it's gonna taste so good. <laughs> the middle layer is very rich. It's nice. Mm. What did I say about that icing on the top? The, the coffee cream, oh, that's delicious. Honestly, I can't put into words how good that coffee cream is. That just adds something else to this cake. It's delicious. Mmm, I got a cherry. This is really nice. I mean, I butchered my cake, it's all falling apart, but that's delicious. I love it so much. If you guys wanna try out this cake too, I've linked the recipe in the description box below. So if you wanna make it, make sure to let me know and tell me how it goes. I really enjoyed this and it was a little bit more time consuming because there were three layers and I had a problem with the cream that I was trying to make. It curdled and I had to make it again. I'm not much of a baker. I don't like spending a lot of time making sweets. I would much prefer to have something savory, but I feel like this was worth it in the end. It's delicious. And I think it would be even nicer having a really lovely spongy sponge, unlike my little brick of a sponge here. <laughs> my baking skills. My baking skills are not very great. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this episode and I'll see you next week for another episode of Journey Through the Decades and we're going to make something Halloween related. See you then. Bye.